We got that nice altitude hold here. This is the Flying Herb with the Holy Stone HS series, the new HS series, which has a couple new features that are very, very cool. First of all, it has an HD camera, which is also FPV. You can record to the card or you can record on your phone. The transmitter comes with a nice little holder for your phone that you can put on there very nicely and see what's happening. You can watch your flight. The other feature about this that's absolutely amazing and one of this price range is it has hover control or altitude control. You take it up, you let go of the throttle, and it just stays at that level. You fly around and it stays right at that level. Great for photography. It also has auto land. You push a button and it just comes down very nicely. You just kind of control you know where exactly it's going to land a little here a little there but it but it doesn't it comes down so it doesn't make that bounce like some of the ones do it takes all the problems of throttle control out out of the uh, picture now i think we're going to go ahead and bind this guy in order to bind the quad we put the transmitter directly behind it and it's very important that both the quad and the transmitter are facing in the same direction we turn on the quad then we turn on the transmitter, we take the throttle, and we take it all the way to the top, and then all the way to the bottom. The quad is now ready. But look, what's going on here? The throttle stick doesn't control it. No, because it has auto takeoff. So we click here, which I'm not going to do because I'm inside my house and I want it to take off. We click once, it'll take off, and it'll go to about three feet, and it'll just hover there and wait for it. If you want to go higher, you give it more throttle, and when you let go, it'll stay at that same altitude. That's the, the altitude hold. When you want to land, you push the same button, and it will slowly come back down. You can adjust exactly where you want it to, to land, but it'll, the throttle will be all taken care of. As soon as it touches the ground, you, you hold this button, and that will turn off the motors, and you'll be completely landed. So it's a little different to take off and landing. Although you can land by just dropping the throttle all the way down and it'll start to do that same automatic. It won't just drop out of the sky like other uh, quads will. So that's uh, how you bind it and uh, it flies very smooth as you'll see from the, from the uh, demo video. So take off, come in for a landing and then long hold to stop the model. Now, these buttons on this side control the, uh, the speed. So you have a, let me turn it on, you can see this. So we have, uh, there are four speed modes, and you control them right here. On the upper right, uh, on the upper right is the flip button. And in the video, I do have some very nice flips, so you can take, check that out. On the left here is the video. Short takes a picture. Long hold starts the video camera. Long hold stops the video camera. It's very important to stop the video camera because that way the, uh, the video will actually register. If you don't do that, you won't get the video to actually come out. These are the trim buttons. We know about that. If it's going a little one way, we trim it the other. Up, down, same thing all the way around. The other feature on this is if the things start to go a little haywire and the model is not flying level, bind it, let it sit there on the table at a level base, and then we push the, this button here, and that will recalibrate recal recal the model, and it should fly straight after that. Okay, to get the FPV going. First, you bind the copter, then you 
go on your wireless phone, on your little cell phone, and you navigate to the wireless signal that the quad is putting out. You'll see it there. It's SA something or other. After you, you know, you make sure you download the program uh, that's in the manual. All right, when we have that, when we get that, now I'm going to push play. And you see, right, look at this. This is my uh, living room as it is, and it's coming right from the quad. As you can see, and I don't know if you can see the screen, but you can take a still image from this, you can take a video, you can get to the folders where all the uh, files are stored. I don't know what this off means, and there's some things I don't know what it means, but, uh, <laughs> but you can play with them. But it's, it, it's pretty cool, and it works, and, you know, as you see, it it's, it's, uh, works real time. Here's out my window. So, a very, very nice feature, and the videos come back very nice. We have the new HS series with auto takeoff and vertical hold. Now it auto takes off. All right, it's a little windy up here. But we got it. I got about a eight mile an hour wind I'm fighting. But here we go. See, we got the auto hold. Nice. I'd be able to do this canyon real nicely. This is wonderful for filming. Let's get up a little higher. And I'll just hold that elevation, see? Very nice. Let's go out the bottom of the canyon. Nice. Come out over here. And of course, we'll do the other things that quads will do, like the flip. Oh! Nice flip.